So LeBron officially gone. Look, we knew this was a, a, a possibility, certainly a very real possibility, and now the reality is what ha- Cleveland is left to deal with, life without LeBron. Yeah, and I feel bad for the people of Cleveland because they really have been beaten up for four, five, six decades in terms of their sports franchises, and LeBron was different than all of the other people that had come through town, whether you're talking about Jim Brown or Bernie Kosar or any of the great Indians players, because he was from the Cleveland area. He was one of theirs. And to lose that guy that's been the linchpin, the face of that franchise, really the face of Northeastern Ohio in a lot of ways over the last seven years is a devastating blow. The only salvage that I can come up with is that they do have in Byron Scott a very good coach. They will be well coached next season, no matter who it is. The job now is to find pieces that fit with the rest of that team. That team was built around LeBron James. Now they're going to have to find whether those players can play with one another without LeBron. Yeah, and Byron Scott, New Jersey first, and then, of course, with New Orleans. He's had underdogs before. We'll see, right. we'll see how he does with this one.